Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back to our University of Knighthood as we are closing in on the first star. So we are in the beginning of the fourth year now, I think it is. And hopefully we'll we'll finally reach that um, highest attractiveness level. We still need to add some ornaments to the university itself before new challenges await us. So we do have this pretty cool raven lamp there now that I like a lot. Let's add this one here as well as some ornaments. And... Anything that is kind of like nightly looking like some harps are totally fine, right? Decorating our rooms with that. And probably also here. Problem is, I do only have 64 Kudosh points left and all of these cost me quite a bit. We have Dark Throne that I can still afford. Let's have a Dark Throne area. Probably also here with some lamp left and right and a rock in front of it. <laughs> Someone can sit there all day enjoying being a knight, I guess, and some plants for sure we need as well. They do add attractiveness after all. The problem is with the plants, they do require watering, so we do need more tanagers then for them as well. Ah, yep, and here we have made this floor larger, so I would expect a few more carpets. These are the only carpets that we have right now, so I'm hoping for a bit of a longer carpet than at some point that we can use for that. We don't have any duplicated classes there or blocking classes, so despite being leveled up, we are totally fine there with the rooms that we have so far, the facilities. Good profit, we can spend that right away. And yeah, then I should only just work on probably improving the rooms that we have here with more um, ornaments and stuff like that. Like, for example, some barrels that we could use. So this is all adding to attractiveness, and the higher that is, the better. What do we have here as well? Increases the attractiveness of Fire Pit. That's 30 Kudosh points. That's the very last Kudosh points that I could spend there right now. Oh, that's a heater too. It's pretty warm there, but it's fine. Ah, and with that, we have the first star. Perfect. So some new campuses have been unlocked. And also with the noble stat, we have now the sandbox mode available then too. But of course, we continue onwards here for the next one. Win a jousting tournament, build a level 5 battleground jousting field and medical office. And develop 10 new romances. That's going to be tricky. The romances, I think. And by the way, how's it looking with my artillery? Do we have that now? Nah, I know it's a bit further away. Everybody's learning though, so training stuff is coming along fine. Level 5? Is that a level 5 already here? That's a level 8. Ooh, that's quite high. My jousting fields are only level 3 though, so we can definitely improve them a bit further. With a jousting bleacher, for example, right? Oh my goodness. We would need to remodel the whole area. But I think we could do this. Can we squeeze all of that into one area? I think we can. Probably just need to get rid of one of them completely. A level 5 medical one. Okay, we have two of them here. So I would like to add another one in this corner now. So we can afford this. Having a medical office right here. That is then also big enough, right? So we can add enough ornaments to it. That we can upgrade the whole thing. And let's just see, we have this empty space there. That is really just a, yeah, a room going through. So we can make this one a bit bigger. And then we have our healing station. We have the desk available. That is only level 2 though. So if I want to go to level 3, we probably need some good quality items. I hope we don't need to spend too many kudosh points to that. Uh, some cupboards, though, we can add. Medical cabinets. I think we need to spam everything full of that. Hand sanitizer is very important, of course. That's a level 4 one. Perfect. We do need a, f uh, a window here. That adds some nice attractive. Yep, that's good. And then some more plants, I think. And some posters. 
Yeah, level 5, there it is. Very good. So that's the next level here that we finished them. I do need another assistant with medical skill, though. It's pretty full anyway, right? So we get lots of people waiting here. So the third one is absolutely fine to use. And didn't even cost us that much. Alright, student on campus, 80 of 80 we have two. We already developed two new romances, perfect. So the, the Rose Gardens are doing a good job at that. And we could still further boost this, right? So this is our romantic area here. <laughs> so... Very good, there's another romance here, the third one. It seems to be quite good same-sex um, relationships in my University of Knighthood. It's totally fine. And let's just have some more stuff over there. So some loft benches we could have. The car booth is not very uh, convincing to me, but the rose garden here. So let's add a second one. They kind of like combine, right? Into one thing. And then for romances, let's just see what we have there available still. Yeah, not nothing. I, I can't spend any more kudos points, so the benches will do. We could add a romantic bench over there. So just beside my... You know, it's all very romantic. There's just the, the gal that needs to have her long blonde hair going down here. Then this would be perfect already. Ah, this one we still have, the love trumpet. All my romantic area. Let's just have it here. So let's have a few of them here. By the way, I can get rid of this hatch there. For now, I don't need it really. Two of them. That's fine. A little path, perhaps. Just something. Something very small. Right, and then all the way down here. That too small? Nah, it's fine. People can walk on it. And then we have the edges left and right, all just here actually. I was watching some of that cheesy gubbins show the other day. So this is all very romantic here, gubbins. I hope. Man, what That's some trees. Gubbins. What's their deal? Do they grow the gubbins? Are they trying to find them, or mine them, or something? I tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Tip of the hat to any kids listening along. And this little area I'm going to leave open for now. We got the artillery! Very good, where do I need to get it? To the jousting grounds, really, right? Oh, also here. Ah, and this is where we need the archery uh, blocks now for this one. And this is really required, so a lot of people, a lot of my students complain about that already. So here we can add that, right? We do have the one perfect. Shooting at that, at the range. And then probably here as well. And instead of those two here, I'm going to have the archery target. So they can't miss. <laughs> Absolutely, they cannot miss. All right, and then it's all about the jousting. So the jousting class is over now, and we can finally look at that a bit closely, um, you know, working on it again. So I'm going to sell everything here. And we're going to move this one then over to the entrance. And there it is, a level five one. We have the additional ornaments in here now. We have lots of other smaller ornaments that we can use here along the along the sides, right, that just fit in very nicely. And I'm glad that for once we can actually squeeze them into these tiny areas there. There was almost no space. Mm, a bin would probably be not very, very good here, but just these ones here. These ornaments there, and that's even a level 6 one, level 6 jousting ground now. Uh, yep, I think we can place it. It was quite expensive too. And of course we still need the right setting down here. So this is jousting. It could look a bit dirtier. Let's see. can have it like that. Perhaps have some paving here after all. I think we can make this one work. Going in. And then...
And of course, what we also need to do is a jousting tournament with that. So let's just have a look at that. Jousting tournament, an event, where can we place it in? Where do we have the space for it? In June, there is a party. At the end of the year though, there would be something like that. What do we have there? A not a jousting one though, squiring the fields. That is really just for the battleground. One is for jousting field, the other one is the theater. Or in April? April we have plenty of time. Is that still that's possible. There is a party here, but who needs the party really when you can have a jousting tournament? Both of the events are happening at the same time, so that's fine. So there is a an event then happening on this on this spot there as well. Quite busy. I think we are completely full now with the campus here in the basic area so now we would really need to purchase the next slots then we could make a big jousting area then over there for example that would be possible because it's getting really tight here but i'm confident that we can make this level two star there pretty soon i was looking the grades are very good the happiness could be better though and i think there is now the event invaders once more and the jousting tournament starts there's still something they need. The prince dummy required. I think we have this one somewhere here. Prince dummy these, but it requires some research that once more. Are we still researching something, right? Nope. Now we can go for it. Prince dummy. So that's the royal dummy. There it is. Let's go ahead with that latest research. We still have everybody training. Perfect. Of course, we could still check out if we do need some additional first aid, for example. Definitely increasing the night school. For these guys, we got lots of uh, teachers now with level five. Five knights. And there's the jousting tournament. So what is happening here? Who's winning? At least they're entertained by the looks of it. Some are dirty, some need something to drink. I can't provide that on the jousting grounds. There is though food area very close. Go to that, please. And that was the town tournament. That was the first one. We do need quite a few of them. These are very good for entertaining, right? So we could, for example, pl plan the next one right away. Or yeah, July. At the end of the year then. So that's that. So these are only temporary there again, right? Because we're going to have some proper jousting area then as well. Campus level 16, perfect. That's a few more coins so we can further upgrade. And I do still need more assistance. Teacher wise, I might also add another teacher. Yes, someone that is good at private tuition then as well. So Meryl Banoffi. Go for that. Help my my students. I just love how busy my campus area is now. <laughs> like everything is... There's always something happening somewhere. Frequently asked questions. No. Of course, regarding training, there is lots of other skills, right? So we got a level 5 a night school teacher here already. So that's... Can we go higher than this? Yeah, it even could go to level 6 there. Um, but they would also have other things that they can do. They could also learn cooking, for example. And with that, actually, you know, do cooking and also... Um, Nighting. We could go with the happy thoughts or the inspirational speaking. What is that doing? That is trick students into working harder with dramatic pauses and rhetorical questions. This is a 5% chance to inspire students. Probably a good idea. Private tuition is also a very nice skill. So I think, how many skills can one learn? Check it. I think three it was, right? Yes, three skills can be learned by one person. So, for example, with the level 5 one, we could go with him, for example, he could be inspirational, right? So he can learn this. Um, and then we have our janitors here. They could be better at maintenance. There is another janitor probably being a bit faster or a mechanic so he can repair better. 
And then we have the ones that are fighting off invaders. Can't hurt to have them better. So in that case here, this is what we're spamming through, right? Making them faster, making them better at what they are. There we have an assistant. She could be... She could go into library management. She could also be faster overall. Because she's already for fastness, for aer aerodynamics. Upgrading that. So these are the ones that are working out here at these stands. So it's, it can't hurt to make them faster overall. That is another side mission. There we finished it already. Training staff at that. Alright, Night School 3 has also finished. And we have now two teachers here researching as well. Very important because these research is taking a bit longer now and I would like to finish them up quicker. Alright, there's also one more jousting tournament. It's July, after all, right? So this is increasing happiness then once more. And, oh yeah, academic results are at 77%, so higher than ever. I'm just waiting for the dummy now. Oh, and I think we do lack more assistance once more. Have a look, someone that is good at entertaining. I think that is also good for these stands here then. Right, that's working. Ah, and the academic year is over. So we made some profit there again. So let's have a look. 77%, 60 continue, 23 graduated, no one failed. Now the standards are quite high on my university by the looks of it. Manage the courses, we can go up one more level. That means more students. And with that we could go into the next year. What I would like to do though in preparation, finally add a stage here now to this area, right? So this is already pretty full now, but some things are not required and a stage is helpful because it allows us to add, set up new events to this whole area. Let's go for the stage there. Right here. And then in front of it, for example, we could have an arcade table over there. Do we have a bin? Yes, we do have a bin here. Our hand sanitizer also cannot hurt. Might get dirty in here. And then also some benches or whatnot, so people can chill while watching the stage. And then of course we need some room in front of the stage, so people can sit and or actually stand there and dance to it. Very good. Let's start the next year. We can do this right away. And I would like to set up some parties right away, what we can also do. So we have the Boogie Nights party now. This one requires a stage. And the Two Point Squabbler described the Boogie Nights as the funkiest nights the Two Point County has ever seen. And while that's wildly speculative and totally unprovable, it's also hard to argue with. This gives a 40% happiness boost. Um, August, unfortunately, is always too late. That's not something I can do, but I can uh, plan it in for December. And we are always going to have now Boogie Party in December. I think that's pretty good there. And then we have the normal events there again that we can have through the year. So we have one repeatable one in April, in June, and I might also have one in the beginning of October because I think those classes don't change anymore, right? Those schedules. So it's good to have them there. Another party for that. And then we have these jousting events happening that we should also plan ahead right away because we do need quite a few of them. So there's definitely one going to be again in July. Oh, it's already booked. It's it's booked by this event already, Jousting Battle. And then I would like to have it from November to the beginning of December, right? So the end of the year Jousting. So it goes, it merges then right with the Boogie Nights. So people can still attend the Boogie Nights if they want to go for the Jousting event. Not everybody's going for the, to the Jousting event there, of course. That's why we can do this. So three Jousting events, some parties for my students. This should be quite good for happiness then too. And there it is, the Prince Dummy has also been finished. That was highly requested and we can have this one here on the, the battlegrounds. So I think, let's just see. Fortunately they're also quite cramped. For good manners, that is.
Let's also continue with the next project that would be probably then the jousting track upgrade. This one gives me then um, the ability to upgrade the jousting track. I think we have the same thing here for the combat training. Let's start with the combat training because this is more basic. Um, and then we can upgrade those devices themselves, right? So this one here that is not upgradable yet. And we definitely want to achieve that somehow. Um, that would be then the researching. All right, we just need one more jousting tournament. And then we already have this one finished. And that would happen then in the end of uh, November, at the end of November. We already have another party there, perfect. Student happiness is quite fine, and another goal has been finished. We have lots of these goals right now, so that's some Kudush points there again. All right, 75 here, 50 here, train the teachers, landscape, collect bookworms. Oh, yep. Join the walking club, and also join the nap club. Finally, some Kudush points again. We got 500 almost. This will be over 500. With that, we can afford a few more ornamental items again that we want to add, of course. There's also a boogie party happening right now, so the knights can shake to it. Perfect. This makes them happy, hopefully. And at the same time, we also have the tournament over there still going on. So they're waiting for someone who's not appearing. I guess who is right now attending the boogie party. If that is the case, then I can't overlap them anymore in the future. But we've done it. And with that, Star 2 has been achieved. And the grand joust has been unlocked. And also the action film has been unlocked for something else. I must admit, I was a little taken aback by your treatment of poor Lord ba Blackguard. I think, didn't expect you to see so gleefully humiliate your nearest neighbor. But I suppose all is fairy in the realm of night school. Alright, oh, so that was the second star. And for the third star, we'll have to take it up one step further. Uh, win the grand joust. And we probably will need a whole new grand jousting area then as well to this thing. But that's for next episode. Stay tuned! It's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable.